Welcome to this video. In this series of videos, we will explain how we could model a unit cell of a unidirectional fiber composite or some inclusion in a matrix. The location of the fibers are random as you can see in this figure and there is no intersection between fibers. To start modeling of this unit cell or RVE, in the first step we define three functions. In this video we will also learn how to define and use functions in Python scripting. The first function is for checking that whether two circles intersect each other or not. To define a function after writing def, which means define, we enter the name of the function and then the input for the function. For this function, the first input is for the radius of the first circle and then coordinates of the center of the first circle and then radius of the second circle and coordinates of the center of the second circle. Finally, we have tall, which is tolerance between two circles. If we set this value to be zero, means that two circles can be tangent to each other. To determine whether two circles intersect each other or not, at first we calculate the distance between the center of the two circles as we can see in this line and then we calculate the minimum distance which is allowed between two centers which is the sum of the first radius, second radius and tolerance. Then we compare the distance between centers and the minimum possible distance and if the distance was larger than the minimum there is no intersection and otherwise there is intersection. At the end of a function, we should determine which parameters should be returned to the main program. In this function, we will return the intersection which shows two circles intersect or not. After defining a function at the beginning of a program, we can use the function in the program. Here you can see that we are using the function by this line. By this line, we put some input in the function and return the value and put it in check parameter and we should determine all inputs. Coordinate of the first circle center, coordinate of the second circle center and then radii of circles and then tolerance and using them we can check whether they intersect each other or not. For this case, because the distance is 2 and the sum of the radii is 2.5, they will intersect and in this case the distance is more than the sum of the radius and tolerance and they will not intersect. Therefore, the first function will return yes and the second function will return no. We run it and check it. And we can see the result here. For the first function yes and for the second function no. In continue, we will explain a function to check intersection between a circle and a list of the circles. After defining and checking the first function, which shows whether two circles intersect each other or not, we use this function and define another function. The second function checks whether a circle intersects a list of circles or not. In these functions, inputs are location of the center and radius of the first circle and then a list which includes the location of the centers and radii of circles. This function checks whether the first circle intersects any of the circles of this list or not. At first we put no in the output parameter and then we extract the radius of the first circle. And for all of the circles we check by our function whether the circles intersect 
the first circle or not. If any of them intersect the circle, the function will return yes, otherwise the function will return no. As an example, we have this list of circles and this circle. By this tolerance, we check whether each of these lists intersect the first circle or not. We run the program and can see that yes shows that at least one of the circles intersect the first circle. We have defined two functions until now. The first function check whether two circles intersect or not and the second function check whether a circle intersect with a list of circles or not. At this time, we want to create a list of circles with random centers and radius which none of them will intersect another. To this goal, at first we define another function. For defining function random, we enter the random module at the beginning of our code. Also we need math functions and we enter math module here. Then we define a random function which creates values between two desired values from x1 to x2. The random function creates values between 0 and 1 but this function map the values between x1 and x2. Now we can create centers of the circles. At first we define our composite dimensions the width and height of our composite. After that, we determine the maximum and minimum of the radius of the circles, which means radius of the fibers or inclusions in the matrix, and then the tolerance between circles and volume fraction of the inclusion or fibers in the composite. After that, we create a list which includes centers of circles and radius of circles. In the list, there is some circles and for each circles, we have the x and y coordinate of the center and then the radius of the circle. We also calculate the volume fraction of each circle. For the first circle, we calculate the volume fraction by this formula and put it in VFF. Now we have a while body which creates enough circles and add them to the list. In this while, until the volume fraction is less than the desired volume fraction, we create a new circle. The new circle is created by RAN function which creates a random number between two arguments. The first argument of this function is said to have no intersect with the left border of the composite and the second is said to have no intersection with the right side of the composite. The first RAN function creates the random x coordinate of the circle and the second one create the random co y coordinate of the circle and the first argument which is the lower limit of this function is said to have enough distance with the bottom line and the second has enough distance with the top line and the next run function creates a random radius for the circle. This line creates a new circle, but we cannot add the circle to our circle list until we check that the circle will not intersect any of previous circles. For this purpose, we use our function intersect and check the intersection between the new circle 
and preview circles by the tolerance. Only if check is equal to no, which means we have no intersection, we add the new circle to the center list and also we calculate the volume fraction of the new circle and add to the previous volume fraction of the fibers or inclusions. Every time we print the volume fraction and also at the end of the program we print all the center list. We can use this created center list to draw the RVE or unit cell of the random distributed fiber reinforced composite or inclusions in a matrix in the abacus environment. Please see our next videos which explain how to use this code to create an RV of random distributed composite and how to run it and what what is the results. If this video has helped you out, please let us know by a like, a comment or a subscribe. See you in the next videos.